Hello everybody and welcome to your channel Cyber Astra. So today we would be using the D framework which is browser exploitation framework. What it does, it infects the web browser and then it lets you to control those infected web browser. In a way it's like the Metasploit framework which most of you are already know about. Uh, you can also sync the Metasploit, you can also use the Metasploit along with the B framework. You know, these are the skills that you need to, you know, improve and improvise according to your technical understanding. You can use the uh, social engineering toolkit, uh, the Metasploit uh, along with the B framework. Basically, you can integrate or you can sync these uh, tools that I'm talking about uh, like the Metasploit and the social engineering toolkit which are inbuilt in Kali and Parrot security along with the beef uh, framework so uh, it's a you know it's a great penetration tool that focus on the web browser unlike the metasploit you know which is kind of a all-in-one tool for network security for the operating system and uh, the known vulnerabilities similarly the beef framework only focus on the web browser vulnerability and the weakness it lets you exploit those vulnerability once your target web browser is hooked to the B framework so we would see how to use it how to configure the B framework on Parrot security I would be running the beef uh, server on the Kali Linux since my Parrot machine is you know having some issues with the uh, B, uh, B framework setting and configuration so let's see how we do it let me open uh, you uh, okay and uh, one more thing you can also visit this website uh, of beef project where you can uh, get the overview as you can see it's a penetration tool that focus on the web browser but you know it can take you beyond the web browser suppose you have a control to the web browser of a specific machine you can you know bypass the web browser and get into the target machine and after that you can you know bypass that machine and get into the network and the subdomain so basically you can control everything once you have control of the web browser and many of the beginner you know they have the fascination of hacking directly the operating system or the network i mean the ultimate goal is to hack into the computer but you know the direct way are somewhere or somewhat very difficult rather you can use the web browser exploitation tool and get into the system and then into the network so that being said now let's see how to open and configure the beef framework okay so i'm running the beef framework on the kali linux machine so to launch the beef framework you just need to uh, you you can simply type beef xss or you can go to the path of the beef framework directory which is user uh, user share then beef right and there you can see there is uh, there are files related to the beef framework you just need to type beef and that will launch the uh, beef framework and also let you know about the settings that you need to you know use and manipulate according to your skills as i mentioned you know right now we are running the beef framework on the local system and the local network uh, later on in the coming videos we would be taking the beef framework outside our own network which is you know using it over the internet or the van so now you can see the B framework has been started. It automatically launches uh, the web browser uh, along with the B framework or the dashboard. If it does not, you can simply you know copy any of the uh, URL. As you can see, uh, to run this on the network interface, you just need to you know copy this. Since I would be running it outside the virtual environment on the host machine, which is my Parrot computer. So just paste it here. Alright, uh, the paste is not working somehow from outside the virtual environment. So we can uh, go ahead and type the address 192.168.120.129 and the port number is 3000. Then UI the authentication. Right now we are into the beef uh, login screen and the default username and password is beef right so we are running uh, the beef on the local network and the main server of beef is running in my virtual environment on the Kali machine so now we would be logging in using the user and password let me type it beef and the password is also 
same as you press enter you are on the default screen of a B framework let me uh, minimize a bit okay so that is the default screen on the right hand side you can see the hook browser so basically it hook your target browser and it will show you here on the left hand side on the right you can see a, a overview or a brief introduction about the beef and the commands that you would be using so if I click on the demo page the browser the same browser will be hooked into the uh, beef dashboard let me click on this link as you can see it open another page and that is the default demo page of B framework and as you can see on the left hand side our browser that that is the IP address so this browser is hooked into the B framework so it's ready to exploit now we can you know straight away uh, run the queries if you click on it it will show you the information about the hook browser and the computer on which the hook browser is running so that's the browser version you can see uh, which is unknown the chrome is the browser that we are using it's running on the Linux platform 64 bit if you scroll down a bit you can see the IP address which is the same uh, computer IP let me show you the IP address of this machine the host machine that we are running uh, let's open the command the terminal we just need to type ifconfig it will show you the same IP address on which we are running the web browser which is hooked uh, currently into the B framework right so you can see the IP address is this right that is the IP address of this machine the host machine we are running so the browser is now hooked into the B framework and we can you know uh, go ahead and run the exploits these are the logs that you can see the commands uh, you can try some of the commands these are the you know the the commands with the green dots the red dot and white dot that we get in the uh, default login screen let me show you that was the default screen and you can see each command has a color and this color has some significance like the green dot command module will work against the target should be invisible so whatever the commands which have the green dots if you execute those commands that will be invisible to your user he will never know what you are doing similarly the amber one will be visible I mean some kind of uh, pop-up will be there on the screen so he will be aware about the, the command that you will execute the white one is uh, not verified so may or may not work the fourth one of course will not work in any case so you don't have to try so let's get into the uh, command section and uh, let's uh, try to redirect the control browser just simply type redirect okay so you can see the redirect browser is there and it will be it might be visible to your target so let me also open uh, the hook browser that was the default page that we used to hook uh, the browser into our pre framework so let let us redirect this to uh, a website which we want so let me align that so that we can see the operation what we are doing so the below screen is the hook browser I mean the target machine or the target browser and the above one is the beef dashboard that we have to use to control our targets so now we have used the redirect plugin so let's redirect the web browser to any website which we want which could be any infected website simply we would be using our own website www.cyberastra.com if you execute this command the hook browser will be redirected as you can see at the bottom we are passing the commands from our B framework to the uh, compromised web browser you can see uh, as soon as we press the execute command there was any pop-up there wasn't any pop-up and the browser was redirected so that's how you control your target machines basically the web browsers and you can see the commands if you click on it uh, you can see the output data result equals to redirect it means the command was successful and we were able to execute our commands on our exploited machine so that's how it works you have to play smart in order to you know uh, manipulate the things or use the modules according to your
preference or I would say your understanding you can as I mentioned and you can also you know hook that you can also synchronize that with Metasploit and you know uh, it can turn the B framework into a lethal weapon of cybersecurity. so it all depends on you and your intents now let's use the social engineering skills uh, which is uh, the real deal because nobody would be interested in this demo page we have to create our own customized page so that uh, the 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 link that we would be sending and the page that will open will be more captivating and that will hold our target for a maximum time so that we can perform our exploits because you know the moment uh, the user close the uh, the screen uh, the demo page our connection to that browser will be lost let me let me show you as i close it you would see the uh, the online browser uh, will you know drop down into the offline browser list that means you will not be able to perform any exploit onto that browser anymore so you need you know more time in order to hook the browser so that you can perform your actions and moreover uh, you can also you know uh, create a backdoor into that system and you can maintain the access because you know a successful hack is maintaining the access not just the hacking again i'm uh, not you know encouraging anybody of uh, uh, watching this video to hack any system because that might land you in trouble uh, rather you can you know perform these skills on your virtual lab as i am doing uh, later on you know you can improvise that according to your your technical expertise but you know don't try to harm anybody okay so now you can see the uh, as soon as we close the demo page uh, the web browser is now in the offline browser list so we cannot perform any task any command will not work now so we now have to create a page which will hold our target for a maximum time so that we can you know perform the task that we want so let's get back into the tally system where the beef server is running where now we will create a, a custom page uh, and we will host a web server on the Kali machine so that uh, whenever our target will open the IP address of this Kali machine the default custom page will be loaded not the demo page so that they will you know would be more interested into that page and they will you know spend some time watching that uh, that, that page and we will be doing our task in the background so let's create the page now on the desktop we will be doing this and uh, we will open our favorite text editor which is Vim you can also watch a video on Vim it's a very powerful and versatile text editor that you can use as a text editor like notepad, notepad++ or as an ID for anything right so let's create a simple HTML file there will not be anything fancy and we will place a simple single line JavaScript code which is called a hook script for B framework that script create the magic you know that script will hook the web browser you can you know use the simple script the single line script into any page or even on your website but again you will be blocked on the web server if you do it on your real website so this this is only for you know the test and education purpose so the, the single line script code is script source is equal to the IP address of our Kali machine since we would be running a local web server so we have to you know use the IP address of this uh, host machine so that the hook browser will be redirected to our uh, B framework so ifconfig uh, again I'm doing the mistakes pardon me guys for this so that's the IP address we need to use it into our javascript file and then the port number which is 3000 the default port that the B framework use and the hook JS is the JavaScript right so that will let's close the head section and what should be the title of this page uh, that will be I believe justified title for this and the body basic color should be black right uh, the text should be on center and let's use the font color equals to white since the body color is black 
right h1 d let's close the tag now oh, that's the simple page without any fancy codes let's save this as index.html let's uh, make it full screen so save as index.html I believe everything is correct up to this point so let's close this file now let's move this uh, index.html the custom page that we have created with the hook script into the default directory so that when we run the local web server this file will be loaded but again uh, there are existing file of apache web server the default page uh, let me show you what it is if we don't delete that rather than you know this file uh, uh, those default apache web server file will be loaded let me show you 192 168 and if you type this that is the default apache page so we have to delete this so that our uh, custom page will be loaded so to do that we need to go to places or rather let's use the, the terminal that will be you know more easy open a terminal and now you can uh, write down make note of these commands to move this file into the default directory D, then var www html and you can see there is already index.html so we have to replace it to you know to avoid any conflict with the file that we have created the custom file now let me show you the path uh, to replace the file that is the the command line that you can use the terminal and to use your mouse if it is more comfortable you need to go to var ww html and delete this file or you can simply delete it from here right so the file has been deleted now let's uh, copy our custom file into this directory it's moved great so half of the task is done now let's uh, run the apache web server so to do that we use the command service apache to start i believe uh, the service has been started just to make sure let's check the status Uh, great it's running so now let's open the uh, IP address on our host machine the parrot security so that we can see if uh, the the custom file that we have created the custom page would load or the the demo page we do not want the demo page right that's why we created the custom page now let's open the page okay we just need to type the IP address of our Kali machine 168 okay now you can see that's the page that we have created and on the B framework on the left hand side you can see the hook browser is now online this browser has been hooked into the B framework with our custom page and you can see the source of this page just few lines and that is the the important line that we need to focus on the single line code you can you know use this into any file of your choice so the browser has been hooked but again you know that's a very basic page uh, your user will not be you know much interested you know to stay on this page for a long time so he would again close this so you have to use your creativity your alternate skills in in the social engineering way uh, I have already created a file let me show you that will engage your user for a longer time and you would have time you know to run your exploit and maintain your access for a longer period let's stop the Apache server so that we can uh, replace the custom HTML file that we have created with a single line uh, of code but it is not uh, you know it's not much interesting so your user you know will close the web browser just in one second or two so let's you know uh, include a file which is more interesting rather it's a game let me show you let's get back on the desktop 
and here I have a file called old school snake game let me show you what it is so that's the simple snake game that you can you know use to uh, make your user stay your target stay on your page so that you know he would be busy playing this game and the best thing about about this game is it will work on the mobile devices so if you send the link of this page with the hook script uh, to the mobile user on the web on the whatsapp group or on the facebook you know their their mobile platform their their operating system web browser will be hooked because beef is you know not restricted to one or two browser it can work on any browser like safari chrome or uh, the firefox so we just need to include the single line hook script into this file let's do it now let's open our favorite vim editor once again we just need to include the hook script into the head section here script c equals to http the ip address you can copy right that's the address I should have remembered this by now but nonetheless the port number 3000 then the hook.js right I believe spelling mistake is not there because that's the only thing I always do in a hurry that's it there is a mistake script everything is right so let's save this and we just need to simply rename this file first we we need to first uh, remove the existing index file so let's get into the HTML directory remove this now let's copy our file into this directory again right so let's move this file to where www.html and then index.html I believe the file is there let's recheck it once again to make sure we should not be making any mistake in a hurry so let's reconfirm this all right the file is there so let's uh, now run the Apache server once again all right let's confirm this once again running great now let's open the uh, IP address once again into the host machine which is parrot security let's type the IP address once again press enter all right perfect you can see the snake game is now <laughs> On our host machine and suppose we are the target this time but we know what we are doing right so our target will be completely unaware about this thing because the script has done its task in the background he would be busy playing this game you know collecting the food for the snake and we will be collecting the information from his system but again I would suggest you and rather you know request you as a friend please don't try these uh, things to harm anybody you know that could lead you in trouble so that being said let's open another browser to see the multiple browser can be hooked into the B framework as I said it's you know not restricted to one or two browser it can work uh, uh, pretty much on every web browser be it on the operating system or desktop tablet or on the phone even the iPhone 
it's just a single line hook script that you need to use uh, according to your social engineering skills and creativity to send it to your user they would be busy playing this game and you would be doing your task in the background creating the backdoor maintaining the access for a successful exploit now let's open the IP address of our Kali machine here in the uh, Firefox web browser 192.168.80.129 all right so great same snake game is loaded on the Firefox web browser as well because we are running this index.html the snake game into our local web server right so as I said we would be using a technique to use the B framework outside our local network because right now we are running it in the virtual environment on the local area network uh, that belongs to us but we would be you know uh, taking the B framework outside the local area network on the internet so we will not be using the port forwarding and all because you know there are many videos already millions of video available on the youtube that talks about the uh, port forwarding it's a complex process for those who you know know uh, do, do not know about the port forwarding on the router rather we will be using the alternates like ngrock or some third party website to you know uh, make a kind of a tunnel for our ngrock platform on the internet and we can control the system which are outside our network that is the real deal okay so we will be doing that in the next video so as of now i believe that is sufficient to give you an idea what a social engineering is all about and how you can play with that right to improvise your your exploits or your task so, all right so we can you know uh, play with the hook browser the way we want you can see here uh, both the browser are now hooked into the B framework uh, these are again the the information gathering uh, details that you can see which I always insist you know the information gathering is very much critical uh, you know before you plan anything uh, I mean before you plan any exploit or attack you, you must have you know most possible information or the more information is always better you know before you start uh, the actual attack so these are the the hook browser we can you know perform the same commands here that we did earlier uh, this time let's try the social engineering uh, there are many many modules that you can use uh, let's use this uh, pretty theft what it does it will uh, send a pop-up on your uh, target web browser like a facebook or you can you know change it to any anything else um, it will ask the user your target user to you know type his uh, social networking social platform uh, user id password uh, let me execute this and let's let's first align the framework so that we can see what exactly is happening all right so now let's execute the command and you would see what i was talking about at the bottom you can see there is a pop-up uh, for facebook and as soon as your user type his credential like i'm typing test at test.com and the password is password enter so he submitted thinking that it's a genuine Facebook uh, login pop-up and the moment he did that we captured the login information you can see when you click on the command output the data answer is test at test.com and the password is there so you can you know uh, you can imagine if these things are with a black hat or some evil minded person you know he can use and exploit your information so that's why I said you know the browser exploitation it's a lethal weapon you know with somebody who has evil intent so as I mentioned earlier you know the web browser is a kind of a repository of your personal information like the social networking or internet banking password many of your information like cookies you know most critical information is there on the web browser so if somebody has control of your web browser you know he can access this information easily and moreover as I mentioned the B framework can be uh, synchronized with the uh, Metasploit as well as the social engineering toolkit they can you know do much damage uh, than what you think like uh, we use the pretty theft which is also you know kind of a social engineering attack Similarly, uh, the snake game is also part of social engineering. So that uh, social engineering uh, is, you know, more critical and more creative. So if you know how to manipulate your target, your task, 
that you know always make thing easy so if you use the alternates like ngrock that we will be covering in the next video you know so that we can exploit and take control of the system which are outside our network so i believe uh, that would be sufficient for this video uh, hope you uh, learn something new so if you like the video please share and subscribe with your friend and let us know what you feel about the video in the comment section or you can write this on the website itself so thank you so much for sharing your time have a good day